Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity. On this video we're going to be doing the sequence 13, memory 5, which is called Under, Lock and Key. Okay, so two more missions, that's all we've got left to finish this off. And the first one we're going to have to, we find the start place is over here, Under, Lock and Key, which is back at the uh, orphanage. So walk in. And talk to Leon, maybe. Oh, you. Bonjour. What have you been doing? Nothing. Did you find the lock? Yes. Now I need the key. You know the soldier carrying this chest for the little commandant? I just saw him in the market. Merci. And I told you to stay here, remember? Oui, monsieur. Okay. So, the first thing we need to do is go and find Napoleon's Lieutenant, which is in the marketplace in this green area here. Um, but while we're doing this, there's also a, a, a shop nearby, so we're gonna go and restock our consumables. I used the Eagle Vision there to try and find him, didn't find the guy we're looking for as of yet, but he's around. Okay, there he is. So that's the consumables locked. And now, if you use your vision again and spin around, there he is. There. Okay, so once you've contacted him, go up to the roof. Now, we have an optional objective now. We have to kill three people on the rooftops. Doesn't matter how you kill them, but we've got to kill three people on the rooftops. But this isn't hard because if you continue to follow the target in the way that he goes, he will come along. And if you stay on the rooftops, you'll naturally come across people who are meant to be who are on the rooftop to be killed. So here's two of them. We've got to kill three, remember, that's all. But we will kill more than that. Him. And there's no challenge from them at all. Okay, so we've got a green dot because we've lost him, but he's there now. Jump over to this building. Climb up. Follow him the way he goes again. Uh, which is... Here. He's there, look. And now he's going to go that way. Um, you could have stayed on the other side of the, ro the roof, actually, rather than go the way I've gone here. But you'd have got to your two guys a lot quicker that way. He's down there. We're going to come up here. The guards are here. Got you. Rest in peace. Yeah, you rest in peace, mate. That's the three kills we needed. Now I'll go across this rope. There's another couple of guards up here as well, so if you miss any of them, it's not a hardship. There's one. And there's two. Just keep following the guy that you're following. It has to be said that this is still the bit of the game I find the most tedious following targets. But we have to follow him. There he is. He's down there. Keep going. There's some guards over there, which probably tells you he's going to go that way eventually. So we're going to jump over this side of the wall. We'll take these two out first. Like that. Easy done. Guy's going to carry on walking. And then where's he going to come? He's going to come over here. Jump 
jump over there. Another couple of guards here. That's him sorted. He carries on walking. Try and stay out of his sight. kind of stopped for a while here, I don't know why, but he did. He was meant to go into that house. But he hasn't done so yet, and we have to wait. Until he does go into the house. For a moment I thought it was glitched, but we're okay. He does go in eventually. I really did think we were glitched at this point. Which would have been very annoying because we'd have had to do it all over again, but if you have patience, he does eventually move. And there he is moving. And he goes into the house and then that says, you know, that the tailing the lieutenant is done. And it gives us a new view of what you have to do. What do you have for me this time? Silver. Nearly enough to fill a chest. Give it to me. The Commodore still suspects nothing. He is occupied in Paris. Your usual fee. Plus, a promotion. Very well. A pleasure doing business with Come here, you can Okay, so this guy is going to come over and have a look, and we're going to kill him pretty quickly because we don't want him in the way. But now we have to catch that dodgy lieutenant to follow him along here. When you do catch him, he will fight you. But we're not going to kill him. We're going to try and kill him. In the same way you would normally fight anybody else. But when you do kill, kill him, he doesn't die. He stops fighting. So chase him. He's now come to attack. And everything else stops around you as well. So you're alright with this once you've sorted him out. I will have you arrested! You will do no such thing. Tell me the location of the chest containing the golden key, or I shall reveal your feet. I am merely seeking a harmless profit. Like a rat hungry for apples. How did you know? Surely the commandant will find the comparison in life. The chest is under guard within the caverns. Here, let's see. Now get out of my sight. So he's gone. Okay, so now we have to go underground, and it just so happens there is a underground entrance right near us over here. So we will go to that. <coughs> Not that way though, because there are guards everywhere. So we're going to run away and hide from them. We might take a shot here. Oh, we did. Climb up, we'll take Midsom. And then jump down and over the other side of the wall here and you'll find the stairs not far away. Over here. They're still looking for me but if you go down uh, this side of the wall, that's the entrance to the caverns. So down you go. And now we get to look for where we're going. So we're looking for that green marker. Same as normal, if you kill the raiders, they don't kill you, but you want to go down and this way and follow it around. And you also need to get two headshots now. Now 
Now, there are two opportunities down here. One you can steal from a chest that causes the raiders to riot, and the other one is you can kill a marked raider leader, and that shows everyone to run away. However, I didn't need either in this one. I, I just automatically came across the place I needed to go to, so I didn't bother with the opportunities. So you can try them if you want to, but there's not much point if you don't need to. So go this way. There's a guard there, we're going to kill him. In, heading for the green search area. I see him finished. But we do, once we get to this point here, well, we're going to kill him too. But once we get to these points, we do need two headshots. It is an optional objective and we have to get these two headshots, so... Obviously the best targets are the Raider Leaders because it causes the others to run away. So if we can get them with a headshot, it'd be great. There's one down here I missed the first time which is really annoying. I hit him somewhere on his head. He gets up looking for me. But the second time I hit him in the head. So that counted as my one. So they were gone. There's another raid leader down there, he's searching around, looking at the dead body. Move over to this side, maybe, and wait for him to come out from underneath the bridge again. And you're looking for your second headshot, here we go, I aimed it up. And there it is, two headshots, all done. That's the optional objectives dealt with, now we just have to get what we need to get. So we go in here. There are leaders everywhere around. He's too far away. Try walking closer but he's gonna... He's gone off down there. He's gonna come back but this guy's gonna come and have a look for me so we'll wait for him to come into place and hit him. We're still looking for the chest. This is the green dot in the middle. I waited for the raider leader to come back, he didn't come back straight away, so we'll get him later. Like here. And he's seen me now. Once you kill him, the others will run away from you. Because killed him. I beg of you, don't let it end like this. Off I go. So there, the green box over there is the one that you can use as an opportunity. We're going to climb up here as quickly as we can. There's a, another boss there, look, there he is, he's, he's there. Again, once you killed him. Now run away. Which is what we wanted. Well, this guy's come up to attack, which is foolish. So, if we go up here, there's a couple of Napoleon's guards up here. Kill them. A couple of guys here. Finish them off as well. Oh, two hit. Three. Here comes the boss. That's him finished. Might as well search them, see if we can get any medicine or anything. And then go into this gated room. We've been in here before because there is a... Um, there was an artifact in here, you can see it on 
where it was on the wall. But this is the chest we're looking for. All that security for a key. What lies behind that door? And now we've got the key, all we have to do is escape the area. And if I were you, I'd go, I'd head the way back where you were coming. It can be double assassinated there. So we're going to try and get back the way we were going. And we will try and get back over there. So we just need to escape the area and get to a place where we are no longer the area. I, I actually didn't get completely out of the caverns. Um, and in fact, I came into a big fight. Um, paused the game, thinking I could talk to um, the camera like while while that was going on, but not realising I was being killed while it was on pause. So. Uh, but you'll see see where it, where it happens. Basically, you're looking for this ladder. A big ladder out of there here would be what what would be helpful for us. And it's over there. That if it, you need a, a pointer, you, there was a uh, bicorn hat up that ladder earlier on in the game, which we got. So now we're gonna go this way, jump across, and we just need to escape, as I say, the area. This is the right way. As soon as you get far enough away from things to be a prob not to be a problem anymore, then uh, we go across this bridge. As soon as we get across there and run on through the exit, the mission will end. And then when I died, the mission had already ended, so I didn't have to worry about it. But there we go, keep going through. There are four guys here that we have to fight. These aren't. There's no boss here, and they're not hard. Just get used to your parrying and stuff, as always. That's the way. Oh, but now he blinded him, so it's fine. Because of the Eagle of Sugea. Right, keep going, running out, and that, that takes you actually in a moment out of the area. And there it is, we are out. And so that is the end of Under Lock and Key, and that's where we're going to end this video. So thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, it's bye for now.